France's love affair with fashion goes way back. In fact, it's been the epicenter of European style since the 17th century, when it became a royal and therefore a state matter. Bonjour, Bhumika Jainer and I am here to present on the topic French history of fashion, hundreds of years of fashion in France. So, starting with 17th century to 19th century. Haute couture originated in the 1860s for fashion and high or good taste. In the 20th century, it was French designers who set the tempo for style. There was Coco Chanel, Hubert de Givenchy and Christian Dior who completely revolutionized women's fashion. As did Yves Saint Laurent who transferred a number of men's designs into the female wardrobe like le smoking or tuxedo. Fashion in the 1910s, between 1910 and 1920, fashion began to loosen up. French designers like Paul Poirot encouraged the trend after 1907 by designing women's clothes for an uncorseted figure. fashion is perhaps the first thing that comes to people's mind when thinking about 1920s fashion while the look only emerged in the ni- mid 1920s it became an essential avenue for the flappers to showcase their energetic freedom featuring receding necklines and cult revealing lengths slims and tra- straight silhouettes and unrestricted m- markup accompanied by casual to hasty manners 1930s clothing brings to mind bias cut evening gowns in liquid satins and silks to it suits flounces and frills and tops off by a cute parrot or tilt hat 30s fashion certainly seemed furrier than the 1920s with its rentless ornaments of bows trims and frills <laughs> defined by a button up top which ended at a nipped in waistline with a full skirt when it comes to 1940s fashion christian dior was one of the most influential designers thanks to his ground breaking new silhouette which redefined women's post war style and revived france fashion industry after a difficult few years <laughs> quarter length capri pants showed off delicate ankles and looked modern and young in 1950s fashion they were worn much higher up than we wear trousers today right up to the natural waist which was emphasized with a tight belt they had a size zip not a fly opening and jeans which were coming into fashion for casual wear for 1950s women's wear were the same The 1960s also saw the rise of Persian style icons like Brigitte Bardot, Francoise Hardy and Jane Birkin. Three of my favorite style icons and I'm certainly not alone. The hippie movement did not go unnoticed in Paris and this became a major trend in the 1960s and 70s. From then on inventive designs did not stop being pumped out of Paris. solidifying its place as the fashion capital of the world throughout the 60s and 70s women were gaining increasing sexual freedoms and this was reflected in their clothing new styles were created and women began to wear clothing heavily inspired by men's wear by the end of the 70s clothes were trending back into more fitted territory with tailored suits making come back after a decade that focus on more casual looks skirts hit at about knee heels got higher and shoulders got wider many people skip the 1980s when naming great eras in fashion the over the top looks of that decade are definitely memorable but aren't often remembered with the fondness of the glamorous fashion of the 1940s or 50s The 80s did however give birth to the careers 
of many influential fashion designers. Several French designers were in their heydays in the 80s, making it a decade of unforgettable styles. As the 20th century came to the close, fashion reached its most casual. Both men and women adopted grunge fashion in the early part of the decade and loose oversized clothing and jeans became staples. As the decade progressed, women's fashion became more streamlined as minimalism became the regular, while children's clothing often featured popular Disney characters. In the final decade of the 20th century, fashion continued to move towards a more casual style of dressing and minimalism. While there were periods of more formal dress, the 20th century largely saw fashion moving towards a much, much more minimalist and casual styles. And as the 80s ended, this approach became widespread. By the end of the decade, it was clearly that this approach to dressing was here to say. Fashion in 2010s was first and foremost about speaking out and being heard. Interest in fashion is only increasing with consumers becoming more aware. In 2010s, people wanted to spend on fashion more than ever and the fashion industry was a promising one to be a part of. Fast fashion became a global phenomenon while brands like Zara, Forever 21 and H&M giving the middle classes the opportunity to dress themselves up in the latest styles.